new at five an important milestone for the Navy is coming up this weekend. Sunday marks the 100th anniversary of aircraft carriers. For 10 decades, the Navy has been able to project power around the globe thanks to carriers. Mike Gooding spoke to the Navy's top admiral for East Coast Aviation Operations. For 100 years, the Navy has been able to do this, go anywhere of its choosing on the planet and send warplanes wherever the nation desires. Aircraft carriers are all about forward deployed presence being there, or as has been often stated, providing 96,000 tons of diplomacy. I would tell you that the advent of the aircraft carrier and the commissioning of the first aircraft carrier 100 years ago really started our Navy and our nation on a path of having the most formidable, mobile, survivable sea bases and aviation platforms in the world. It all began with the USS Langley at Norfolk Naval Shipyard on March 20th, 1922. Today, the Navy currently has 11 commissioned aircraft carriers in its arsenal. Rear Admiral John Meyer is commander of Naval Air Force Atlantic, responsible for providing operationally ready air squadrons and aircraft carriers to the fleet. In a time of crisis, every president has asked, where are the aircraft carriers? And I'll tell you today, Harry S. Truman is in the Mediterranean, operating closely with our allies and partners. And on Sunday, the Navy League of the United States Hampton Roads will celebrate 100 years of U.S. Navy aircraft carriers with a private recognition ceremony at the Half Moon Cruise Terminal in Norfolk, featuring numerous speakers, including the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Mike Gilday. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Newport News Shipbuilding is the only world is the world's only maker of nuclear powered aircraft carriers. The most recently completed carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford, is scheduled to make its first overseas deployment sometime later this year.